What a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Tiny Beast Lockdown 2016. For those of you who are unaware, I, I played another version of this deck a year ago. That was the original Tiny Beast Lockdown. And when when a deck becomes a year old, I decide to revisit it sometime. I can I can redo it. So we're doing that. Uh, the Tiny Beast aspect of the deck comes from all these level 2 or lower beast type monsters we're using. And the lockdown, in this case, is Naturia Beast with just, like, monster negation. So we're going to shut down spells, we're going to shut down monsters, and then hopefully attack for a lot with that and Closed Forest and uh, Ronin Raccoon. Um, if you're just interested in the deck profile, I have a link in the description. I'm going to go, that has a separate video where I'm just going to go over everything in here and explain how it works. Otherwise, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro, testing this out, and having a little fun. <laughs> Alright, here we are! First duel versus Shadow CDC 9, and you want to go first. You always want to go first with this deck, as much as possible. Just always first. That's the point of a lockdown deck. Unfortunately, we started with Obedient Schooled, and this is the key, this is the most important, cheapest card in the whole deck. So what we want to do, we want to get our tuner, which is level 2, Verilifon. We want to pick any other level 2 beast. Uh, I'm going to go with Wind-Up Kitten in this case. And then our level 1, Uniflora. Which, if you ever, if you know math, 2 and 2 and 1 makes, uh... Fuck. 5. 5. Uh, yeah. And Naturia Beast is 5. So this is Earth Tuner and Earth Non-Tuners and Beasts and stuff, and there you go. Good, good old Naturia Beast. Never mind, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, okay. A sad state of affairs for him to be sure. But I'm still counting that as a win because I got the thing out and it did stuff and, or not, it didn't do stuff, but I got it out. And a lot of the times when we do win, it's like Naturia Beast go, and they cannot. Although it seems like he might have been distracted by something. Either way. This may be a really short episode, so I'll probably end up doing extra duels anyway. <laughs> Okie dokie, here we are, second duel versus King Lawson. He's the son of King Law, I suppose. I don't know, we're going second, which is not good. He's already activated a spell. That is, the, the deck has failed. It's just failed. It's the whole point of this deck, um, as I've said before, it's locked down. You make Naturia Beast first turn, and you stop them from doing things like activating Union Hanger. Um, but sadly, he's already got these things out. We might... Oh, and we could have we could have negated that, too. It's especially against some of these more meta decks. It's one of those things where, um... They'll play out most of their hand, especially their spells, first turn. So getting out Naturia Beast second turn, not really all that effective. Um, and that way, this deck is kind of like the, the Amorphage slot machine. In fact, if I had made this, if this wasn't a remake of an already existing deck, I'd probably call it the, uh, the Tiny Beast slot machine. Just because it's like, you have to go first, and you have to have a pretty decent hand, but if you do, then, then your opponent could be screwed. Um, unfortunately, this guy is the most tryhard of tryhards, and he is just gonna be, he's just gonna play that, that, uh, the OCG meta deck, which is get out Cyber Dragon Infinity, get out ABC Dragon Cannon first turn, Choose cards that have nothing to do with your archetype, only so you could double summon. You know. Um, I would just say, like, GG and skip on, but... You know, this is a perfect time to talk about, hey, I got some sleeves. You see, they got the Ronin Raccoon and the Naturia Beast. This is pretty cool. They're a remake of the original versions of my sleeves. Uh, Joe, you want to put the original version up there? Comment in the comments which version you think looks better. I obviously like the new ones, but I've been told uh, by a couple people that they like the, the earlier ones better. They're a little cleaner. I like the lighting effects and stuff like that. But either way, if you want these sleeves, if you want the deck file, and I have a custom negation file, you can get all of that for a $1 donation to the Patreon. $1 or more, you'll get all the sleeves I've ever made. Um, and if you like me on Facebook, I post old sleeves there, so you can get the old Tiny Beast Turbo sleeves if you want those on uh, Patreon. Or not Patreon, on Facebook. Um, either way, kind of screwed. Um, you know what? We're gonna... <laughs> this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be really stupid. Oh, wait, this, this might work. Okay, so let's see. I can special summon this by discarding a beast. 
And then I can raise or lower its level equal by what you discarded. So this is the other main way, because we play all these level 2s. Okay, he's instantly using that. So I'm going to normal summon my wind-up kitten. You gotta be kidding me. He had the solemn strike, too. See, that's the thing, like, this isn't even... I, I'm Like, I should be mad about this, but it's like, you know, I can't even... I can't even do anything about about this. Uh, I don't think any deck could. <laughs> There's a... Uh, yep, I could have sent that back. I got two Solemn Strikes, but now he has no effects to new. I have Ayer's Rock Sunrise, which will let me special summon a beast out, but I don't have anything worth summoning out. So, yeah. I'm just going to consider this a loss. And uh, I'll see you guys. If something happens, I'll be back. But otherwise, this is just a, a stone-cold loss. Oakley Dokley, here we are in the third duel. Going quick, going fast. We're versus Pedro Caesar. Of course, he didn't spell Caesar right. He's got a Z because he's got to be extra edgy and cool. He's got one card extra deck. Am I going first? I am not going first. A sad state of affairs to be certain. Hopefully, he will not be able to do things. Unfortunately, it looks like he's playing traps, which are my one weakness. Fortunately, it looks like he's playing some really old-school shit, which is the opposite of my weakness. Well, actually, I guess it's neutral. No, he's playing midfielder. Um, Interesting. Why don't, why don't you just do that normally? I mean, I guess he just wanted a 1200 on there. Do you negate into the void? Do ya? Do ya? Ba hurt, ba hurt, ba hurt. Nope. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and bait this out because we can. We'll just normal summon wind up kitten. I love this guy. So once per turn, I just send a monster back to your hand. I'm gonna say this one. He can negate it, but then I can summon it back out of the graveyard. And that'll be his one negation. He ain't got no others. No, he's just going to let it go through. That's even better, because I'll save stuff. Okay, so I'll discard this. Sort of my egotistical ape. Once again, I will lower his level by 2, because I discarded a level 2 monster. You can also raise it by 2. Make level 9s, if you wanted to. Penalty box, okay. You don't have a UA monster on the field at the moment. So there we go. There's our 5. Let's just get out that Naturia Beast. Um, yeah. And then we'll attack this guy. He's a marauding captain. Hope we don't get mirror forced. Oh, we got mirror forced. Um, well... Hmm, that's going to be tricky. But, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. We'll just get this guy right back out. And lower his attack even more. Um, and then we'll set Void Trap Hole. Even though it's not going to be particularly useful. Oh, I forgot I played into the Void. I already normal summoned anyway. It's probably a good thing I played that then. So yeah, he can't get over this. He could penalty box it. Um, oh, well, I can I can Void Trap Hole that. Negate the effects and destroy the thing. That was your normal summoning. Of course, he's still got a little bit... Again, this is going to be a hassle because it's going to remove me for two f two turns. Not going to be able to attack his UAs. I really just got to get... And he just surrendered. He surrendered even though he had the advantage on me. Granted, he couldn't get out his field spell, which is muy importante, but still... Um, like I said, this this guy, just he makes people want to surrender. Go into the fourth duel. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, here we are in the duel against Swag Dre. It's pretty cool, he's got all the power of Dr. Dre and all the power of Swag combined. Um, we are gonna Dark World Dealings to start this off. We'll just draw a card and we'll discard this because it's best in the graveyard. And now, the question is, do we into the void? This is such a double-edged sword, because I have so very little. 
Um, against Blue Eyes. You know what? I think I'm going to wait. Because worst case scenario, I can make a rank 2 regardless. But um, the biggest rank 2 I can make is the... Or the best rank 2 I could probably make is Sandayu. Or, San, yeah, Sandayu. Good old Ronin Raccoon. But he, he makes a token that has attack equal to the highest attack on the field. So if he could summon a Blue Eyes first, that actually might work better for me, because then I can get a 3,000 attack point token. Because um, I'm not going to be able to get, unless I get really lucky with this, I'm not going to be able to get Naturia Beast. And I'm not going to have any recovery plays. Hopefully I played a couple more traps in this so I could set them and do stuff. Um, let's just see. I mean, they, he could OTK if he can get three dragons on the field. Which can very easily happen. <laughs> yep, just re Gospel of Revival, Roar of the Dragon Lords. I guess I should have made something. But, like I said, I just, I, it wouldn't have been able to survive anyway. He would have attacked over it, and he didn't attack. He didn't attack! That's why you don't surrender. Did he do something that, why, why he wouldn't be able to attack? I don't know. Let's just go ahead and Dark World Dealings once again. Um, and that is actually really good. So let's just go ahead and into the void. That is a pity because I'll have to... Oh wait, no, I can do this. Okay, so... Because I have another one of these in the graveyard. So we'll normal summon this. I will activate this. You contribute it to summon a beast-type monster from your graveyard or hand. We'll pick graveyard. Bada bingo. This one, you can discard a card to summon a beast, level 2 or lower beast from your graveyard. We're going to pick this one. Because when this guy is summoned by the effect of a beast, you can blow up one card on the field. I'm going to pick the one that has the effect. Will he save it with the Dragon Lords? Oh, probably. I mean, yeah, probably. But that's okay. Because we can get Sandayu. And then we'll go ahead and make a token. It'll have 3,000 attack, because 3,000 is the highest one. And then we play Closed Forest. Face up beasts gain 100 attack for each monster in the graveyard, which puts us above 3,000. Which means we're going to kill the fuck out of this thing. Yay. This still doesn't have very much. I probably should have put it in defense mode. But it can't be destroyed while I control another beast, so he has to kill this token first. And I have Solemn Strike, so if he tries to use this, or if he Ixy summons... I can do things, assuming he doesn't just twin twister this, in which case I'm doomed. What you gonna try to blow up? Hit the token? If he hits this guy, I'm not even gonna bother. Okay, he selected my token, which means I'm gonna have to put a stop to that. This one, you know, I, I don't like playing Solemn Notice. Um, I think I've mentioned that multiple times before. But uh, I had the I had great Grand Horn of Heaven in here instead to negate stuff, and I just sort of realized like you know I'm still playing like counter traps that negate things. Um, I might as well play the better card, especially since it's been a year since this came out and it's still not limited. Granted, I think once they sell it in the tins and they they've had a chance to like get everyone to have it, then we'll see this limited to one. So I'm sure this will be limited fairly soon. But if it does, you could just replace it with Grand Horn of Heaven. You know. So there you go. For now, I think we may be doomed either way. It depends what he has in his extra deck, if he can make some more stuff. I mean, we put up a pretty valiant fight against Blue Eyes, considering we couldn't get our great combo. If you can get your good combo off first turn, you're actually in a pretty good uh, condition. Because they can't, like, granted he could still get this guy out, the alternative White Dragon, but he's not going to be able to use, like, look at all those spells he used that he wouldn't be able to use otherwise. Going for Dark Matter Dragon. Interesting turn of events. Um, probably going to banish my closed forest. Let's, well, yeah, because there's the one. I think it's when it, no, it's when it's special summoned. We'll see. It depends if he plays Felgrand or not. Oh, he's, what? Did he not have things? How come I didn't have to banish stuff? Well, that was a silly choice. I don't know what happened there. Oh, he just detached to attack twice. Okay. So he's going to kill that one. He did that in the complete wrong order. 
Yeah, I took some damage, but now I'm going to be able to summon one that has 4,000, and then with this, it'll gain even more. Um, Dark World Dealings, dead card. Of course, if that's his Solemn Strike, then I am doomed. Man, I'm just predicting them like all... I'm predicting them like crazy. Um, please be scared. If not, I'll probably see you in the next duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are in the fifth duel. Already almost halfway there, and we're versing against Hell Screamer. That's a pretty brutal name. Do we get to go first? No. No, we don't get to go first. A sad state of affairs. And we're playing Blue Eyes again. Just a whole bunch, a whole biggity bunch of Blue Eyes. Um... And he's just, he's playing these spells, and I could negate them. I could negate them if I, if I had the spell negation. The real question is going to be, can I make both my Naturia Beast and clear this off? If I can get rid of this thing and make Naturia Beast, I may just have what it takes to beat Blue Eyes. Um, oh wait, no, I don't need, okay, yeah, I'm actually pretty good. Well, it depends what he makes here, actually. Either way, I should be pretty good. Um, nah, it's gonna be close. Oh, he's making four thousands. This is gonna be a tough build. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. I probably, you know, I probably should... Normally I wouldn't play a deck like this, um, which I've been saying a lot lately. I keep, I keep pushing my boundaries. Um, this is really something that's just pretty much nostalgia. I just remember having a lot of fun playing this the first time. Um... And it's really weird testing this, because, like, I, I remember the first day I tested this, and I went, like, nearly undefeated. And then the next day I tested it, I didn't win a single duel. And it's pretty much been going back and forth. I have, like, long streaks of just surrenders over and over again, followed by long streaks of losses. So I really have no idea how this is going to work. Um, let's see, if we have to banish something, let's get rid of an egotistical ape. Um, one of my kittens. And... I guess one of the Tantans. He's just grabbing. He's got all his things. All these spells. <sighs> and then during the end phase, something. Oh, this. But at least that's been baited out already. He can't. He can't destroy my spell traps. Okay. So first, let's go ahead and give him a thousand. Good. Good. Yes. Um, hmm. Go ahead and Dark World Dealings. Oh, that's a tricky one. That's, I'm going to have to get rid of this Solemn Strike, actually. Because I need everything else, as far as I can tell. Um. Wait, no, no I don't. Um, let's get rid of Tantan. I have no need for you, Tantan. I have other things. So many things. We'll just go and get that obedient schooled. Three level two or lower beast type effect monsters with different names from your deck. Their effects are negated. They're destroyed during the end phase. And if you activate this, you can only summon beast type monsters. But it's just, it's really good for being like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make a thing. So we'll get that. And one of these. And one of those. Yay. And then we'll get beast out. Ho ho! Solemn warning, you rat biggity bastard. Oh, let's see then. In that case, let me look at Sendaiu's. I don't think it's original attack. I think it's whatever it is. Um, hmm. No bother. We'll just get this out. We'll use this effect to turn him back to level 3. Unless he's got something... Effect Veiler! You rat bastard! Okay, so now I can make, what, a level 7? Um... Oh great, Voltic Bicorn. You ever seen that come out before? <laughs> That's a, It's an interesting one. Do I have any other things in my, in my graveyard? Um... Well, yeah, let's go ahead and try that. So, Ayers Rock Sunrise. 
will get out this thing. And because this isn't going to do anything for us if we're dead, we'll kill that and get out... Um... Crap, I didn't look to see what he had in his graveyard first. You know, let's just wind up Kitten. Meow. And we're just gonna send that back. Don't want that. Um... I could still make Baltic Bicorn, which has more than that. So, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and make that Baltic Bicorn. And save this here, and maybe, just maybe, um... We'll get a card and we'll be able to do something else. Maybe you won't be able to kill this next turn. Wonder what this is. Aha! That actually worked out. If that had gone to the grave, you would have been able to summon a dragon. But fortunately, I only have 400 attack. So I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty decent. Uh, oh, wait, no, he can do that. Uh, he's just going to add it to his hand. And then what? Summon it? Attack for a million. Good game. Jolly golly G. Golly G Willikers. We'll be back. <laughs> Interesting. So he summoned out the alternative. Didn't use the effect. Just attacked Voltic Bicorn. Gonna make us both mill seven, which I guess will help him in some ways. Yeah, good point. Um, that probably only helped him. But I have another... I still have this out. If I draw any... I, I mean, I will draw something. Somebody doesn't have some way to get rid of this between now and my next turn. Which I don't think so, even if he makes a synchro. I mean, that can be, what was it, when an effect activates in the graveyard. But I'm not going to be activating effects from the graveyard. I don't have any of those. I'm not going to be summoning more than one, unless he makes a level 10 synchro. I actually don't know what their tuners do at all. It's one of those things. I'll have to eventually play like a Blue Eyes at some point. Once they become non-meta. Or maybe I'll just make like a non-meta build of it. Got the white dragon. And then, what was it? He can tribute this during either player's turn. So we could just do that now. Make a level 8 synchro dragon. Summon out that again. Okay, let's let's just go ahead. We'll get that. Um, hmm. And we'll summon this guy this time. What you gonna do about that? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Krakens. What's crack a lacking? Effect Veiler. All the Effect Veilers. When did Effect Veiler become so popular again? Well then, there's another loss for us. Um, this was supposed to be used to negate spells. It's not being used that way at all. Ugh, see you in the next duel. <laughs> Okie dokie, here we are. Six duel versus Will. He has a very normal name. I am Gaston. Comment in the comments if you get the reference. Sometime in the intervening period between the last duel and this one, I have become a 1940s-style radio announcer. What will happen to me? Hard to say. Um, let's see. We will... Activate Obedient Schooled. Same, same old song and dance. Um, and that. Hip. I hop. I hip to the hop. I just can't stop. And... Yeah, we're just going to make this for now. Uh, actually, you know what? Just for added defense, let's set this guy. So we can still activate Into the Void and put Closed Forest and Ayers Rock next turn. Um, but doing that now isn't going to do much. Yep, I'm negating that. No drawing for you. Maybe Closed Forest would have been a good idea. Normally it only gives him like an extra, what, 300? But uh, if I do it with, and then I, like, start getting more of these down, I have a really good, like, or start getting more beasts into the graveyard. Oh, let's see, we'll summon the one that blows something up when it comes to the field. Fuck you. Take that, yo, Sinjus, you garbage. I'm sorry, I'm just salty from before. 
Uh, yo, Sinju's play a lot of traps, though. This would have been a good time to have all my traps that do things. Um, there's another obedient schooled. Um, let's see. Do I have another one of those in the graveyard? I do. Okay. So we're going to Ayers Rock Sunrise. We're going to pick out this. In defense mode. We're going to get rid of this into the void because I don't like that and summon out another one of these. Because this is my only spell trap removal. I tried playing Twin Twister, but it would, I found it was just better to, to get out this and stop them from playing spells to begin with, as opposed to trying to destroy the spells that were already on the field. It's just too slow. Too slow. Um, yes. You can summon them face down, too, if you want raccoon synergy. But we'll just destroy one of these. Solemn Strike. Very interesting. Um, let's see. Yeah, well, I'm already there. I was going to say, I might want to just keep that so I keep popping it over and over again, but I think we're good. Um, we'll just do that. Get out a token. Play this. Not negate our own thing. And then hope he has no mirror force. Maybe a rippling mirror force. I at least have the one into. <laughs> Is that like the third time this episode where I'm like, maybe this will happen and and something will will do 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 a thing. And now you can activate that. Fan tootly. I should have put this in attack mode. Well, I can make another one. It's not much, but I can make another one. We just gotta hope that isn't also a rippling mirror force. Let's hope not. Dimensional Fissure. Okay. That might have sucked if I didn't already have so many. Actually, that might prevent Naturia Beast from activating his effect now that I think about it. If I can't... If I can't send monsters from my deck to the graveyard, I can't activate that, I don't think. I don't know, there's only one way to find out. Same old song and same old song and dance, my friend. Could just attack for a bunch. Uh. Yeah, let's just try to attack with this first. See if he activates things. No, he didn't. Alright, let's... Hmm. What can do? Yeah, I'll just do this. I think I can still activate that, but I'm not sure if it'll work. Either way, I've got a 3,000 effect negator. He has one monster. Now maybe two. And now he has cards of demise. And then he has tank. Well, monster effects. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, yeah, because I can't, I was like, yeah, I can't, so you can't negate stuff if he has dimensional fissure out. It's a good thing he just happens to have dimensional fissure in this deck for some reason. I guess trying to make anti-meta stuff? I don't know. But he got the one that can just send stuff back to my hand, which means I don't got a chance. No chances. No chances. <laughs> Okie dokie, here we are, seventh duel versus Parazor. We get to go first. Well, isn't that just a fine how do you do? Just all the negations and none of the things that actually makes this deck a deck. But we got it, we got a uni you got a unicorn. We got a unicorn with flowers on it, so that's cool. I mean, you know. Let's we'll see what looks like we're playing Red Eyes, which I should be able to stall for at least two turns. Maybe I can get the things I need. But this is actually the least useful card um, of all of them, pretty much. Um, Yeah, that's cool. I mean, whatever, man. I'm gonna make a rank 7. Make a rank, and then put that into an 8, maybe? 
Just gotta hope he doesn't make Black Rose Dragon. No, he made Red Eyes Wyvern. Oh, uh, that's... Yeah, let's just... Whoops. Oops. Oh, well. I already messed it up. That's fine. Hopefully he'll just go into an 8 and then I'll be able to... Yay! Now I can negate all the things. I still feel like garbage doing it, but, you know. At least now I have a chance. I'm gonna search out another Resonator that he won't be able to summon. But he'll be set up for next turn. He's playing the deck thinning movie game. He's smart. What did he grab? I didn't get to see that. Oh. Ooh. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning. It's like 7 o'clock at night, so I shouldn't be tired. I am human garbage. I'm just poking away. 700 attack. What do you say? Just nonsense. I always want to avoid this. I'm half tempted. I'm pretty sure I could win this just because he has to commit so many resources to doing things. And now I have so many outs. It's kind of why I say, like, uh, I think the, the reason I've said before why I don't like Solemn uh, Strike is just because, like, pretty much any deck can play it. And if you get them and you win, it's not like your deck is doing something specifically good. Um, any deck would loot. Like, any, any deck where you're playing against three Solemn Strikes, you're going to have a bad time unless you start with, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, let's go ahead and Void Trap Hole that. Just negate that and destroy it. But yeah, doesn't matter what I'm fighting against or what I have. If I, the, the starting hand that I got is just good. So it's like, if I put, like, realistically, if I was being as competitive as possible into the void. I would put all Solemn Strikes uh, in pretty much every deck because there's no reason not to play it because it's such good just general negation. Maybe there's a couple decks where you can't stand the life point loot loss. I probably wouldn't run it in like Cosmos, at least my variant of Cosmos. But you get the point. I'm just gonna have my, my deck would be nothing but like Solemn Strikes. Or not Solemn... Like, no matter what deck I have, like, if, if I got the Solemn Strikes on there, it would just be, it would be boring to watch, I guess is my, my, the point I'm trying to make. Okay, so he's got a thousand, he can run over this. He's got more Resonators. What can do? He can make, ugh. Damn yawns. I don't get it. Comment in the comments if I'm making you yawns well. I apologize. Yawns are a blight on humanity that science still doesn't understand. Mostly because we haven't really tried to understand it. It's not really high on the science priority list. There are people trying to cure cancer. You don't want to be the guy who's like, yeah, I'm studying yawns. Very important. I'll just uh, do that again. Will he give up the despair? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna offer him a rematch. You know, if anyone deserves it, it's him. My deck don't die like that. <laughs> um, I still got another one, and I can negate your monster effect, so I don't think you realize quite how doomed you are. But yeah, afterwards, we'll do it. And that'll just, we'll, we'll just kind of, that'll both be wrapped up in, in the, uh, the seventh. Yeah, this is still the seventh duel. What can do? Great, Ayers Rock Sunrise. I could summon out the, the things I don't have. All right, we'll just attack that. What could be? Could even cook egg? Does it have 7,000 or less defense? Probably a resonator. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so it has less defense. He's just trying to make it. I was going to say, I'm surprised I didn't put two level ones there. Um...
Yeah, I'll just go ahead. Add it to your hand. That's fine. I'm going to save it because he's still going to try to synchro something big and he still needs something in his hand to do things. I'm just waiting until I get a third card so I can use this and hopefully draw onto some draw onto one of my monsters. Now this is what I get for playing not that many monsters. Um but unfortunately, like I said, like a lot of these monsters are just like they're so combo tastic. You just need to have things there. Just putting up a defense wall. More Ayers Rock Sunrise. Go into the void. Can't account that. It's the one I can't. Mmm. Yep. Mmm. Oh. What's that I'm tasting? I think that's salt. I think I've got salt. I'm winning and I'm salty. This has never happened before. <laughs> um. I'm curious though. Like, go ahead in the comments. Have you ever had a time where you won? You were winning and you you just felt you didn't like it. You didn't like winning. It's rarely happened to me. Um. Yeah, go ahead. Whatever, bro. Do what you want to do. But will he synchro? Because if he synchros, I got the third one. I got the third one. All the solemn strikes. Constantly. It's a never-ending torrent. Yeah, I know. And I'm actually going to use this because I have my two Ayers Rock Sunrises. So maybe if I can dump a monster into the <laughs> graveyard. Th this wouldn't be as bad if I could just do things. <laughs> if I could just... If I just got monsters. Ugh. Am I ready to lose? Uh, yes. At this point, I welcome death. It's what I deserve. Soul Karge. Of course, he can't kill me this turn, so I don't know what he's what he's planning to do. There's always a chance I could do something. Uh, well, no, I don't think there is, actually. Unless there's... Yeah, it can only be special summoned by that one effect. So there's no way I can get two level two. Well, okay, if I draw... Um, what are you doing? Am I ready to lose? Bro. You done goofed. <laughs> you can't summon that many. It <laughs> doesn't. Uh, let's let's see if we can get him in a rematch. Soul charge costs one K per monster. Now you know how I feel all the time. At least he gets to go first. I've got all my into my voids. Now, now he gets a chance to show off what his deck should do, which it seems like it's a pretty decent... I mean, he started with a whole bunch of instant fusions. It's like Discount Instant Fusion Warehouse. I forget if I played that with my my uh, Resonator deck. That might be a good replacement for... I believe I played... Uh, what was it? I played Emergency Teleport with Rise Bell the Star, Star Psyker, Star Adjuster. One of those two. This would probably be a good replacement. Would be just some... Oh, he's got Archfiend Bane. Um, when your opponent inflicts, when this inflicts battle damage. Okay. Can he make it into something even bigger? No, he's just going to summon that out. But unfortunately, he has no protection. That's why you always got to go for the Void Dragon that can negate spells and stuff. So, good starting hand. You're lucky I don't play Raigeki or anything. Why would you throw that out? Um, let's see here. Into the void. Uh, into the void. Um, do one of these. 
Let's just... Hmm. Uh... Gonna have to go with the egotistical ape. Oh, no, yeah. Gonna have to go with the... Actually, probably should have done forbidden. But that's fine. We'll just throw that out there. Be like, what up, dog? Isla Mal. Kill this. And we'll just give him an extra 100 attack. <laughs> set. And set. And there you go. Now he's got 200 extra attack. My deck is weird. It, it's made to do specific things, and it's it's not doing them. And doing against spell cards is not going to help, uh, especially someone on Resonator. Please. I use the one. Is he going to do, is he going to, okay, he's going to make the big one. And I got a solemn strike right here. Let's go! Please make the big one. I want to see it. Yes. A sad state of affairs. To be certain. Um, but at least I did a little, at least, you know, I can't just say like, oh, this is all just me getting a solemn strike, like I got that, indeed. But this guy's being a good, good gentleman about it. I'll have to tell him about the site, um, afterwards. Um, I think I'm just gonna save this, use it for something else, attack for a thousand for now. Ho-ho! <laughs> I didn't want that synchro, I didn't think of the stars. Rip indeed. Oh, he's got Soul Charge again, and he can't OTK himself this time. Or not OTK, but he can't. At the most, he'll have a thousand life points left. Still gotta be careful. He can't attack this turn. He can make a big board, but I, I got a kitten. I got a kitty cat. Um, And actually, hmm. I could Forbidden Chalice this, and then I think during my turn it would be able to use its effect again. Hard to say, hard to leg. Oh boy, oh boy. Here it goes. You go for it, bro. You have the thing. You have the power. Twelve stars. I think that's the King Calamity Dragon. But will it be able to be taken out by a small wind-up cat? With this little paws, this is like, please... Please, mercy. Red Nova Dragon, okay. Um. Cannot be destroyed. <gasps> but I ain't gonna be destroying things. No, sir. A 13 star? Can you make even bigger things? I mean, unfortunately, he can't really attack this turn because he used Soul Charge. 1700? No. That is forbidden. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he's just summoning these things. I guess while he has a synchro monster, he wants to make the best use of it. What do I got in my graveyard? Another wind-up cat? Okay. So he, no matter what I draw, I just put this out, discard, summon wind-up kitten, send that back. No, discard, make... All tight. Awesome. I'm going to discard the Solemn Notice. Okay. My monster, you about to bit get beaten down by a raccoon, son. Let's just get another wind-up kitten on here. Meow, meow. Let's go ahead and make... Sandayuku! Surprise, I've got a 5,000, 5,200 token.
bottomless trap hole. Oh, you fiend. You foolish, fiendish fool. Pity. Well, I can still do this. At least he had that trap, though. Um, once per turn, if this can be destroyed, it is not destroyed. So, let's just go ahead and wipe this out. Because we can get it. We can get it with two attacks. And then he just has the level one tuner. Cats are just your arch nemesis, man. Okay, what's he gonna summon? I hope he gets Norden. Okay, he got a Norden. Good. And then he's gonna try to do a thing. But I'm gonna be like... Uh... Nay? Granted, that gives him 400 extra attack, but that's fine. He can only get over one of these, and next turn I'm gonna be making another token. And that token will have boosted attack because of closed forest. Oh, I forgot he's still normal summoned. Fuck. Shit. Shit, man. But still, he can at least, he could at the most make one big monster. He could steal my wind-up cat, you fiend! Oh, thank God. Wrong choice. Should have gotten that ketten. Is best monster 10 out of 10. I don't think right. It's okay. I've been there. Most of my life. Well, anyway, I'm going to declare this victory. It's been fun. Thanks to this guy in the comments. I'm going to tell him about the site. Maybe he'll see you in the comments. Maybe he'll say hello. Uh, either way, next duel. <laughs> Okie dokie, here we are, 8th Duel versus M. Till. That guy was pretty cool, he said he would check out the site, hopefully he'll be down there in the comments saying hello. Um, I went first, but I didn't get uh, the things. I need my egotistical ape, that would be cool. Um, gonna roll them bones, show me ape. You're not an ape, you're not an ape at all. Fuck. Um, set and set, and set, and cry as those two go to the graveyard. All right, monarchs, go ahead, uh, rip me a new asshole. Ooh, pot of cupidity, monarchs? Or is he playing the, uh, banished troll OTK thing? Which it's possible, he might, he might be doing that. Get a little Irish going there on ya. Jocceptacoy! What you doing there? Ooh, interesting. Okay. Gonna, gonna, uh, nope. Okay. Summon this. And this will be like, haha, swords are revealing light. <laughs> You'll get to do anything. Haha! -ha. What you think about that? Ooh! Yeah, I know, I made that weird. I probably shouldn't make that. I also should note, I don't, I don't watch Jacksepticeye. Um, he seems like a neat dude, but, uh, I don't know, just not really my style. I watch a little bit of Markiplier, but not very much. Um, let's see. Well, I could make a level 6 thing. What, I like a Goyo Guardian? I think I'm good, I'll just save my Ayers Rock for now. And we'll just go into Sandoku. Or Sandayu. Get that in the graveyard for later use. Pop up a thousand point token, and just give him the two thousand attack point tickle. Unless he's got Battle Fader. You hiding Battle Faders on me, son? No? Karibo. Um... That's from only one attack, though. You're taking that other thousand! Ha-ha! That has cancelled out the effect of my upstart goblin! Yay! 
It's it's he seems to be playing a stall deck, and yet he's he's rapidly he's rapidly got these uh what was I oh yeah now, he seems to be playing a stall deck, but he's also playing a lot of draw power, which is not conducive to a straw to a stall deck. Normally, if you want to stall, the point is to wait out your opponent. Um, but at this this rate, like even if he stalls, he's going to be dead. He's not playing Exodia, or if he is, he's playing a really risky game of Exodia. Looks like he's playing a Karibo deck. Interesting. Does any further damage you take become zero? Okay. No, that's fine. Oh. Karibo deck? Question mark? What you up to, M2? He surrendered. Well, that was interesting, but a win is a win. So you know what? We're going to be on to the next duel. Okie dokie, here we are. Ninth duel versus Speedy. Ha! I get it. We get to go first again? We've got Obedient Schooled! Yay! All my hopes and dreams MP4 have come true. I still have no idea what that means. I think it has something to do with Undertale, if I'm not mistaken. Um, which, hopefully, we'll be playing before too long on the Legs Plays. I don't know how many people check those out. That's what we put on the channel most of the time. It's kind of similar to this. If you like hearing me talk and say random funny shit, then, like, there you go. And we're going to go ahead and set one of these as a little bit of defense. And we've got our Ayers Rock Sunrise. Hopefully we can at least force him to use some of his resources to get rid of this. Um, if we're lucky, he's playing a mostly spell deck, and he won't be able to get rid of this. If we're unlucky, he's playing ninjas, and it's all traps all the time, 24-7. And if a ninja fucking comes out of there, I'm going to c declare myself a new prophet, because how many times have I done that? Um, no drawing for you. He's playing the new ancient gears, though, which are decidedly not ninjas. Also, they rely on their field spell, so I think I may have... Yes, there we go. That's more of what I expected to happen, at least some of the time. Um... Which it seems like it's done a couple times. Let's go ahead into the 10th duel. <laughs> and here we are, the 10th duel versus a Pokemon. Poliwag itself. Comment in the comments with a Pokemon. Doesn't have to be your favorite Pokemon. Doesn't even have to be a Pokemon that you like. Just a Pokemon. Um, unfortunately, this would normally be really good if we had any other level 2 monster but this. But unfortunately, these are both tuners, so we can't make the things. But we have two Solemn Strikes... Because that's the kind of luck I'm getting today. So, hopefully we could stall a turn. And Twin Twisters, and he's playing Ronin Toten. Which means Tree Toad is about to make him... He's about to have a wonderful grand time. He's probably got traps. This is probably Paleozoics too. Uh, there's the third one. We'll just go ahead and set that, and I'll be back! I'll be back, because I don't want to, uh... I don't want to have you guys, uh have to witness my my dumbness in action my saltiness all my hatred and rage and there it is no nope he's not gonna be on the episode nope i'm dead joke cut we're going 11th duel <laughs> you know i gotta give it to that that last guy at least his name made sense he was a polywag and he had toads we're in an 11th duel because it's been going kind of fast we're going first again we've got a pretty good hand uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, let's get rid of a kitty cat. And Eclipse Wyvern. Not the best. Judgment Dargan. I don't like it. I wish I could stop spells. Um, hmm. Hmm, well, we'll just go ahead and do a thing. May not be the best thing, but it's a thing that we're going to do. No. There we go. Ooh, that was almost disastrous. I need to have all beasts to use this, so unfortunately... Um, this is a beast warrior. This is a zombie. This is a rock. Um, hmm. This card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard. Target one face-up monster. Equip this card to it. Monster cannot attack. All sorts of effects are negated. Take control of that monster. 
You know what? We'll try it. We're gonna try it. I may have just doomed myself, but hopefully this thing won't leave the field quite so quickly. And then it'll still be in the graveyard. I can have a recovery play with Uniflora next turn before this hits the grave. We just have to see what he does. He's only got the one light, so hopefully he can't banish that. And that. Well, either way, he has to get more light swarms into his graveyard. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm going to do this. Because I don't want you to mill things into the graveyard. And you still can't get over 23, because 21 isn't higher than 23. I learned that from my schooling. Shh. No spells. I say no. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna... I'm just gonna attack for massive damage. So, let's get this. Use it to get out our deer. Our deer friend. We'll discard Egotistical Ape to get out... Good old little rabbit... Rabbit Leaf? Rabbit Leaf will blow things up. So again, I, I don't know the names of these. I don't look at the Verifon and Cantalos. No, this is Deer Friend and Rabbit Leaf. That is what they shall be forever. Um, and let's just get some Sandayu! I should have... It's a good thing he's up in front, because he has seen a lot more play than Naturia uh, Beast, I tell you what. But that's okay. We got straight 5,000 plus attack. Assuming he doesn't have a uh, Tragodia or a, or a Gores of some kind. Those don't really see a whole lot of play these days, but you never know. Stop. And there's a thousand. So there we go. If he can't mount some sort of impeccable defense, put a whole bunch of cards in the graveyard, I may just have what it takes to defeat him. And of course, even if somehow he does get out Judgment Dargan when this leaves the field, like with this ascent to the monster zone, I can target his Judgment Dragon. This can't be destroyed while there's another beast. So I'll still have a whole bunch of things left over. Of course, this has to go to the graveyard. So if he banishes it with Michael, I'll be in for a spot of bother. But if he banishes it with Michael, it won't screw up my graveyard. Which is good. Um, so far I've seen all lights, no darks. So at least I don't have to worry about uh, Black Luster Soldier Envoy of a little something or other. And you're making a Dante. Well, I guess you need to get more light swarm. Maybe he's looking for that dark. Maybe he's trying to get the one dark in there. You got some darks? No. But he does have Light Ray Diabolus, which means he probably has the other Light Ray monsters. Like that one. Banish one, target one, set card. Okay, I don't have a set card. That's good. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, so he got rid of my token. Ouch. This is un unavoidable, unfortunately. But then what will you attack with Hastur? Hmm? What can do? Okay, he's gonna kill that, and he's not going to kill this one. He's just gonna clear the the board a little bit more. But I'll get rid of this. Third, he doesn't he doesn't have any more dragons left. Oh boy. Um. But can I summon anything? Anything worth summoning? Yes. I can do things. I can do things all day long. Not necessarily smart things, but you know, I can do them. Let's just summon this. And we'll use it to blow up this. Because sending it back to his hand with Windup Kitten would be a bad idea. I'll kill that. Unless you got honest. You better not be hiding honest from me. No, but he does have an electromagnetic turtle. Fucking turtles, south, north, magnet tail, bullshit. This is nothing but 100% bullshit. Just milling Grand Maju to Izer. Why do you have that? How are you banishing cards? As far as I could tell, you don't have hardly anything that banishes anything. 
except all your turtles are banished. Or not turtles. Um. Okay. Uh, yes, I will use it on this guy. Because I don't want you to destroy this. If I can get another two, then I can make another, uh, thingy do. You know. Shh, no spells. Uh, yeah, here we go. I can make another thingy do. Um, let's just... Let's see, target one face-up, monster, effects are negated, cards with the same name and their effects can't be activated, that doesn't work. This is only going to give me a 1700 attack point token, which is not enough. This might be good. Yeah, let's try that. Screw it. We're on the 11th duel, we could be a little reckless. I'll take the extra battle damage. Just get rid of this Dante. Sky Cavalry! Boom shakalaka. Now we just hope he can't use this and this to, to synchro summon Michael. Raiko, what are you doing here? Rip. Well, I'm going to take 200 damage. Um, let's see. Banish seven other cards, special summon this card. Oh, so that's why he banishes. He's using those fairy tales. Very tricky. I heard that's a popular anime. I haven't seen it, but I heard things. Probably something to do with One Piece. Got a little heart tail. Wearing a poofy dress. I'm not sure if I approve of that. And then he's gonna get, oh. Oh. And then he gets all his uh, Judgment Dragons. It's actually a pretty neat combo, although it takes forever. Just gotta keep milling and hope eventually you get this. And by then you have everything in the graveyard. But that's nice, I gotta commend him for that, you know. Decent job. I can't take that monster. He doesn't even have to. He's gonna make Gaga -ga Samurai. Well, there you go, 11th duel. Another... what are we looking at here? Six losses and five wins. So you know what, we'll go and try one more duel and see if we can break even. <laughs> Alright, here we are, finally, the last duel, no matter what, versus Kevin Gates. Which Gates does he guard? Did I go first with this amazing... I did. I did go first. All my dreams are coming true. They're for truthful. Um, let's see. Let's just do one of these. Uh, one of that, and one of those, and let's go for this. Boop. Bop. Beep. And then we'll go ahead and get this out. Boo-ha. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and make, let's just make the sleeves. You know, we'll make the sleeves. No. There we go. I, I keep accidentally doing that, and I don't want to use that effect. We'll just get one of this. Good old 22 attack point token. Hoo-ha. And then I'll set that. And then we got Ayer's Rock Sunrise, so if they destroy this, I can bring it back and lower all his monster's attacks, assuming he doesn't banish it. Maybe this is like a hero deck, he just does Mass Law, Raigeki... Of course, this would still be here. Not not for all the good it does, but it'll be there. No, wait, you can't make... Whoa. <laughs> How many times have I done that now? That's kind of weird. Either way, he can't activate polymerization unless he Raigeki. No, he can't Raigeki. Okay. Because Naturia Beast. But it does look like he has some traps. Some spooky traps. That doesn't work. That doesn't work like you think it does. Not while I control another beast-type monster. And this token is a beast, and this Naturia beast is certainly a beast. It's in the name. EA, it's in the game. Um, yeah, I know, I'm sad too. So, let's Ayers Rock Sunrise. Get out my Verifon. Ooh. 
Activate this. Let's summon out that so we can pop one of these back row. 50-50 chance. Hoo-ha. Show me Mirror Force. Or maybe he just set his polymerization to try to be cheeky. Ooh, Call of the Haunted. Not quite as good as he would have liked, but still. Um, and we're just going to make Hastur. Because I like him. And then we'll attack for a lot. And hope this isn't his hidden mirror force. Mirror wall. Okay. I still have more attack than you. Have the attack of all your opponent's monsters. Pay 2,000 life points or destroy this card. Okay. If this card gets destroyed, I get my attack back though, right? I'd like to get my attack back. Ooh, that's a high cost. It's a high cost for a high mirror wall. Um, let's see. That would only bring it up to 15. Touche, salesman. Touche. It's a pity I didn't save my Ayers Rock Sunrise. Granted, I would just have... Oh, attacking monsters. Okay. So yeah, too bad I didn't save my Ayers Rock Sunrise. I could have I could have done some things, man. And some stuff, maybe. So what now, though? You still have a little bit down. I've still got this to contend with. Well, no, if he makes... If he manages to make, whatchamacallit, um, Mass Law, this isn't going to be anything. Because if this, this won't hit the graveyard. Um, I could make a monster with 1,700, but its attack would just be halved. Um, yay! So, let's just normal summon this. Tribute. Get a nature your beast back. Get another token that has more attack. Wait him out. Because he can only do this two more times. And now he can't fusion summon. Granted, if he is honest for some reason, I might be doomed. But I can bump this up to 26, although its effect will be negated. Which will put me in for a spot of bother. Now he's got some sort of rank 4 shenanigans. Rank 4 shenanigans. Trying to take my Naturia Beast. I won't allow it. Well, yeah, I won't allow it. You at least have to go into your battle phase and do that first before I'm going to allow you to activate any kind of any kind of gym jams. And then you won't have defense. So that way he can't just absorb it do all his things, and then attack for a whole bunch of damage. He has to attack over this. And maybe I'll get another Ayers Rock Sunrise. That would be nifty. That would be pretty nifty. Ooh, 300. What now? I think he used his normal summon already. I don't think he has a special summon, unless he sets four, and then special summons Bubble Man, and then activates a... No, if he sets a quick play, he can't activate it that turn. He has to wait till my turn. All right. Well, that doesn't help very much at all. Um, and if I attack, I'll just have. So you know what? We're going to hold on for now. Just going to hold on. Because again, he has to maintain this. This is probably the closest duel so far. Will he maintain the mirror wall? If it's gone, I have a chance to come back. Ooh. Well, he can't maintain it anymore. Does he have to maintain it? Oh, yeah, or destroy this card. Okay. 
So what do you use Prisma for? Just to send Shadow Mist to the graveyard to add another elemental hero? Seems kind of like a waste. Granted, he plays Polymerization, so he's not necessarily masked heroes. He could be any number of heroes. A whole bunch of different stuff. We'll have to see. Rainbow Neos. Is this Rainbow Neos Turbo? Are you trying to, like, OTK? Is that why you have the Mirror Wall? I don't think I would ever run Mirror Wall. I mean, clearly it's effective. But, uh, it's just too high of a cost. Plus traps. But you can activate it in the damage step and have their attack. Might be good if you're playing against a... If you're playing a deck with, like, really, really high attack. Okay, he's got... He's got that. He's gonna be doing a little bit of... A little bit of trouble. What will kill, though? Hmm? Will kill Hastur? Will kill Strongest Token. The choice is yours, and yours alone. If I get another Verifon, or another Uniflora... No, Uniflora won't help me out. Oh yeah, will, because I can get another Verifon. And I can discard this, make a thing, crash it, and then attack. Uh, destroy all monsters. Um... Let's go in Dark World Dealings. There goes my ape. Ape escape. But I have this, so if he summons... Interesting. He really is going all out with these Neospatians. There goes Mirror Wall. And yes, all my attack comes back. Which is still not enough to get over him, but it's pretty decent. And if he tries to use that effect, I could be like, Whoosh jam! Solemn noticed. Whoever that is in the background is not having a good time. They're getting all lightninged. I assume we were supposed to assume that it's this guy doing it, but he's not making any motions or anything. Um, interesting. What the fuck? Um, oh, he gains the difference. Shit! No! I lost to Neo's patience! How did this happen? What has my life come to? I feel shame for all eternity. So there you go, Tiny Beast Lockdown 2016. Like I said multiple times, not the most competitive deck, kind of luck based, and luck wasn't... It was kind of on our side, I mean we went almost half and half. I did a couple bonus duels. Hopefully you can see how this might work. This is kind of a fun, casual deck. Not necessarily the lockdown powerhouse it was last time. But who knows, maybe if you can improve on it, let me know in the comments. What would you change up to make this more better, where you can get out Naturia Beasts, like, first turn? Um, next week, I actually will not have a standard what a deck for you. Instead, I'm going to be doing a different uh, special video. Hopefully I can get it done by then. So, tune in to see that. Uh, until then, good luck, have fun.